Oh yes, it is time to unveil Abs and Tokes. A really fun budget build? Maybe not too budget, but a little budget. And there's cards that you can uh, you can easily take out if you don't have them for the rares. But let's go over the deck. Uh, it does hit pretty quick. Uh, that's what it's kind of designed to do. You want to get as many tokens down as you can as possible, and then uh, just go at it to our go at our opponent's face. You know that's what we're doing here. Let's show you what's in the deck. We're going to run four Legions Landing. Great card for sure. Uh, it is about to rotate out, unfortunately. I know that's sad, but while it's still here, we're going to be playing it. Uh, it's great to boost our tokens also and uh, generate more uh, mana for us. Raise the Alarm. Two copies of this. Create two 1-1 one, one White Soldier creature tokens. We need creature tokens, and we need a lot of them. That's why Sapling Migration is in here. I've used this card in many, many decks. It'll be sad when it's gone. Create two 1-1 one, one Green Saps, um, or if you kick it, so if you pay a total of six, you create four, which would be huge. Corpse Knight. Deck is kind of centered and focused around Corpse Knight. Um, it's a two drop in the Orzhov colors. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life. Yeah, we're going to be triggering that off quite a bit. Now, Cruel Celebrant is another option. When one of your creatures dies, lose one life, uh, gain one life kind of thing. Yeah, you can go, you can, I'll tell you what, give it a shot, try it out. I have ran it, I tried it with two copies, four copies. What happens is you just get a bunch of Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant out, and you're not really getting your tokens out, you know. We need tokens to win the match, you know, basically. Otherwise, those two cards aren't really that great. So I think four is the right number to go if you wanted to slide in two Celebrants and take out maybe the Tristani Discordant down there. Um, you can go ahead and try that, or you know, something else you could take out. Two History Banalias, whatever you don't get the rares for, you know, or Mythics. Three Amara, Soul of the Accord, Sweet Baby, I like her elf ears. Um, yeah, whenever she uh, attacks, easy, baby. You put a 1-1, one, one, uh, whenever she taps, uh, you put a 1-1 one, one White Soldier Creature Token with Lifelink. That helps us survive a little bit, you know. Uh, against Mono Red or whatever, yeah, it's an easy target, but still, Mono Red's going to be targeting a lot of other stuff, too. Uh, we are running three copies of her. Could go four. I think three is pretty cool, so you don't get stuck with one in your hand if you already got one on the battlefield. Shauna's Sisse's Legacy. Really cool card. That's right. As many creatures as we got out, it gets plus one, plus one for each one. Uh, and the best part is, uh, Sisse's Legacy can't be the target of abilities your opponents control. That's pretty big. It can save uh, Sisse from quite some deaths. Four History of Benalia's. This is another card if you don't have, you know, four of or, you know, whatever, you can swap in your Celebrant or whatnot. History of Benelli. But if you don't have that, you might want to go with some more Raise the Alarms. But moving on, create a 2-2 White Knight creature token with Vigilance. Knights you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Very good card. Um, we need to get a lot of tokens down. That's exactly what Benelli is going to do for us. Iron Root Warlord. New card from M20, but it's pretty kick butt, guys. Not only... Is there, is there a mana sink on it? For five, we can create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. It's really cool. It has five toughness, so it dodges a lot of stuff. But it's also, you know, susceptible to other ways of demise. But it is a three drop, and uh, its power is equal to the number of creatures we control. Um, you'll see this thing blow up rather quickly. We're running three copies. You could run four. Another way to go. Conclave Tribunal, four copies. Um, just amazing removal. We tap up our creatures, and uh, we can just take out one of their permanents, which is really, really cool. Non-land, of course. Venerate Aloxodon uh, helps us get plus one, plus one counters on creatures. Also, in, with the Convoke mechanic, you know, it allows it to uh, come out at zero. We can pay zero if we wanted to, if we have five uh, creature tokens out, or five creatures at all. Just tap them, and there you go. Also, it, it combines nicely with Amara, Soul of the Accord. Tristani, two of these. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Great way to close out a game. And uh, also when it enters the battlefield, it does create two tokens. So, I mean, that's really going to help with our Corpse Knight damage. Then we have uh, March of the Multitudes. That's right. I just noticed the wolf on that artwork. I know, I know. It's amazing. Two of them, actually. All right. Uh, really cool card. It's got the Convoke. And uh, it's another way we can end the match with a March of the Multitudes. We got Corpse Knight out. If we drop like five, six, seven of these 1-1 one, one White Soldier creature tokens, I mean... Bam! We'll see you later, you know, just close out a game like that. But what's also sweet is it, they do come out with a lifelink, which is cool. So that's the entirety of this deck. Got some planes. Uh, here, here's the land base. I'll just show it really, really quick. And then there is a sideboard. I actually did a best of three. 
I understand. That's crazy. Three duress, uh, you know, just to uh, throw up against control or whatnot. You know, it helps out a bit. Or a lot. Heavy removal. Uh, Devout Decree, great card. Exile to our creature Planeswalker is black or red. You know, scry one. Uh, that is pretty amazing. You can't go wrong with that in the sideboard. <laughs> Tuck Optly Honor Guard. Creatures on the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. It's a 1 3. Pretty cool. Slow shut down some other decks. Noxious Grasp. Destroy target creature or planeswalker that's green or white. You gain one life. Nice. D Spark. Exile target permanent convert a mana cost for a greater. Awesome. I got it. I mean, you can see where these all apply, you know. And the Knight of Autumn for obvious reasons, you know. Um, yeah. We can take out enchantment, gain some life, whatever we need to do. Put plus one, plus one counters on it. And it's also a knight, so it would go with Benalia. There is the deck, guys. This is some fun gameplay. It's pretty quick gameplay. I hope you enjoy and uh, subscribe, if not already. And let's go do short sales. Enjoy the gameplay. Okay. Keeper. Pay in the life. Go Legion. Oh, he's going green. It looks like we're in luck. Ooh, cool lands, man. Look at that. Cool land. I like your land. I don't know if I ever told you that, but I like it. All right, we go corpse. And then, I mean, after that, the fun shall begin. Ooh, it's okay. Wonderful. That's one sweet-looking cat. Horizon Reef. Never seen that card before. Is that new? What's it do? Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Apply pressure. Apply as much pressure as we can. Down 14. Good, good. Look at that. It's gutsy what you're running there, my friend. All the reef and all the card draw it comes with. Amara, welcome, gorgeous. Um, I think I paid a two life. Deal flip mode. We are having like a battle of tokens. This is the battle of tokens. Down to 10. Man, you throw red in here with calamity. That would be fun. <clears throat> is it possible? Is it possible he has no more Risen Reefs? Risen Reef? Chandra's Amber Cat. Fun card. All right, I do want to be able to swing in, though. And be able to flop one out there. It makes his other stuff bigger. Just stuff like that, you know? <clears throat> and then we can just do this. He's at nine. He's at nine. I don't care. Swing at Amara. Ooh. And eight. He actually took that? I can't believe he did that, because then next turn I hit, wow. All right, that, that, wow. I've seen it all now. Oh, look at you gaining life, huh? Or Tristani Discordant. If we can get Discordant out, that'd be ideal. Hey, calm down there, pal. Ah, I didn't get it. But we could drop you, which is going to be huge. 
And we might as well just do two of you. Bing, bing. Um, I think it might be game. That's probably game. Let's swing on everything. Yeah. Is that two? We don't lose. We let them win. Sure, we can squeak in two points of damage here. Oh, he's finally taken out uh, Amara. Got it. Fun build, fun build. Kinda budget. Kinda. All right, let's, do it. let's just do a couple more. And uh, yeah, there's no more man out here. No more lands. Uh, we need a green source. We get a green source. We are looking fly. And no uh, one drop, which kind of stinks. Thank gosh we have one land here. <clears throat> he does that again to us. We're, we're crippled. <laughs> I mean, we are really hurting if he does that again. Alright, we got Corpse Knights. Oosh! This could be really fun. This could be really, really fun. If, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Maybe. Gain in life. Oh my gosh, another corpse thing. You almost want to drop that. Maybe we should keep it on the back burner. Let's just get Amara out. Yeah, I would hit them the Ritual of Soot, and then we don't have, like, an answer for anything. We have no Corpse Knight. We've lost all of them. There it is, Cryacarnarian. I was worried about that. Good reasons. Good reasons. Corpse. Let's go Amara. Uh, 13. All right, get rid of that. Takes a look at our hand. I guess we go raise the alarm. If we can get that to stick one more turn, we can do March next turn. And that, that'll be a nice payoff. All right, cool. We're almost tempted to do that just for the one right now. I think we should right now. We're only getting one out of it. That's okay. Right? One, yep. That'll ping him, but we drop Tristani. If we get our land next turn, I mean, that's the game. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Brutal. So close. By one. Just one! We were putting all of our eggs in one basket. Tristani failed us. Alright, that doesn't hurt, my friend. It does hurt. No. He's got one! He's got one! He's got one! <laughs> He's got one! Give me give it to me! Give it to me! Oh no! <laughs> Tristani, give me that land, please. Ah, oh, thank you, Tristani. There we go. All right. Oh, man, what a wild ride that was. What a wild ride. <laughs> Cat just hissed at me. Good game, my friend. All right, uh, one more. This text doing a pretty, pretty decent. I am the master. How far are you guys with your mastery tree? I'm slowly like, I'm slowly ticking away at it, you know. 
I got this one um, completed. Do you have to get all of them completed for it to unlock, like like the color? I would imagine so. It's pretty cool though. Planar cleansing up next. Hurry. All right, we're gonna keep that. Although we don't have a key component that we would like to have, we will roll with it. Okay. Yeah, if we can get some lands out, that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, we will be hurting. Millennial Falcon. Acknowledged. Top deck hero. I should almost take that out, though, huh? I think we'll be okay. Let's just get some action out here. Swinging in. Flipping. One more land. Tristani is going to be nasty sauce. Make them pay. Ooh. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Oh, nice. Go big or go home, boys and girls. Oosh. It's pretty big. One more round of fun. Could easily conclave as a reclaimer, but... I mean, I don't think he's going to have anything big to drop. Let's just see what happens. Let's just chill. Drop something big. Dare you. Starship Trooper guy. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, see? Ran right through. Oh, yes. That is looking gorgeous. Uh, we're going to keep that. Yeah, that is looking really good. All right, we'll go with Temple. Temple into night, baby, and let the night shine. There you go, isolated chapelle, corpse, and then let the fun begin. Don't take out my knight, because then no fun begins. It just comes to an abrupt end. Go to swamp. Oh, wonderful. Whatever you got there, my friend. Whatever you got there. Um, let's go with that. Just because it has a five. Five for toughness. I cannot attack with him. That's uh, one of our like not a it's it's not a win con, but it, yeah, it basically is. We do a lot of damage with it. He hits us for one damage. All right. Okay. Shall go Amora. Two rays. Now we got a threat. A big old threat. Oosh. Warlord is legit. No block. Down to 11. If he doesn't deal with Corpse Knight next turn, it's game. Are we solid? Can we can we walk away with the victory? He says no. He says, no, I don't like you, Joy Moss. Like, All right, man. Oh, this is pretty cool, though. All right, so we're going to pay the two life. We're going to go Legion's landing. That's pretty legit. Um, I will use this to pay, what, like three or something? We need one, two, three, four, five... Six. So, three. Yep. And then I tap him. He just came in. Uh, I will tap you because you're gorgeous. I'll go you. And you. And you. Oh, I could have done one more. 
I could cancel at that point, but that's all right. Worst man this. Boom, 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 boom. Trigger, trigger, trigger. <coughs> Oosh. Must be blocked. Yeah, I could have done one more. That's all right. On to round two. And if we would have waited till the end step, we could have done two more. That's all right. In it for the rush win, baby. All right. I mean, this would be a time to run Devout Decree for sure. Maybe throw one night of Autumn in. I mean, he is running enchantments and whatnot. Um, I think I'll take down one, raise the alarm. Maybe even two. I'll take out two of them. And, uh... I'll Oxidon. Should be good with that. So you got Alvaro. I thought I would play like at least one traditional best of three so you guys can get an idea of like sideboards and things of that nature. What exactly I do? He's stacking up big. He just... Okay, this is... <clears throat> Alright guys, well anyway... That is the deck. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, just it shows you what it's capable of. You know, it um, it does run through a lot of other builds. And um, I guess if you wanted to get crazy and try something, uh, what's this Celebrant? Right. This card. Um, or the creature plays where you control dies. Each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. You could try throwing that in the mix as well. But uh, honestly, I already tested it out. And we need we need cards that generate the tokens. Um, we need car like the Sapperling. You can't beat that when you can drop four tokens just like that. I mean that's really huge. Um, I mean if you wanted to maybe throw in two, that's another option you can go if you uh, really wanted to. I mean what to take out? Maybe knock out these Tristani Discordants and throw in two cruel Celebrants. I mean might work out for you. You know, give it a go. See how it pans out. That's the entirety. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Uh, if you're not subscribed, by all means, go ahead. And uh, if not, go skadoosh yourself. We'll see you next time.